Let's now focus on terror funding by the states that causes a worry for the world peace. In South Asia, Pakistan remains the hub of terror activities as many outfits based here are funded by the state and its spy agencies to create instability in the region. Despite remaining in grey list of Financial Action Task Force for many months, Pakistan has failed to comply with 27-point action plan. We have a report. Pakistan remains on our increased monitoring list, the so-called grey list. And with this, for the fourth consecutive time, Pakistan remained in the grey list of the Financial Action Task Force. The FATF plenary which was recently held virtually noted that Pakistan has not complied with six major points of the 27-point action plan given to it. Urging Islamabad to effectively act against terror funding modules, the Global Terror Financing Watchdog has given it a final deadline of February 2021 to fully implement the action plan. We urge Pakistan to complete all items until the next plenary meeting in February. The six outstanding items are very serious uh, uh, deficiencies um, that still have to be repaired. And uh, for that reason, um, the risks are not, uh, has not, have not gone. Uh, the Pakistan government uh, must do its best um, to repair and to work on these uh, outstanding six items. UN designated terrorists like Jashi Muhammad Chief Masood Azhar, Lashkar e Taiba founder Hafiz Said, and the outfit's operational commander Zakir Rahman Lakhvi are freely operating in Pakistan as the country has not taken action against any of these perpetrators. In fact, a sudden disappearance of the names of more than 4,000 terrorists from its original list of 7,600 under Schedule 4 of its Anti Terrorism Act has raised several questions on the country's so-called counter-terrorism measures. Azhar Said and Lakhvi are the most wanted terrorists in India for their involvement in numerous terrorist acts, including 26-11 Mumbai terror attacks and the bombing of a CRPF bus in Jammu and Kashmir, Pulwama, last year. The Financial Action Task Force grey listing of Pakistan was more than expected. In the previous sessions, the FATF had identified that Pakistan had to take action on 27 issues to get rid of the black mark or the grey listing mark. However, Pakistan completed only 21 of them. Importantly, the six ones which were not completed were the major ones that related to the actions to be taken against terrorists who have been internationally listed, such as Hafiz Saeed and others. Pakistan is streaming with several terror groups Jashi Muhammad, Lashkar e Taiba, Hezbul Mujahideen, Lashkar e Jangvi, Al Badar, Al Barq, Harkatul Ansar, Harkatul Mujahideen. The Tehrik e Nafaz Shariat e Muhammadi are just few names out of 100 others which are regularly being funded by the notorious Inter Service Intelligence or the ISI to operate comfortably in the South Asian region. These terrorist groups change their names and pretend to be charity organizations to receive money from various sources. Falahi Insaniyat Foundation is a so-called charity organization of Jamaat Dawa, a terrorist outfit run by Hafiz Said. This foundation exploits the humanitarian crisis in Pakistan and uses its welfare services to convince young people to join its ranks and raise funds in the name of various social programs like educational workshops. Similarly, Jesh Muhammad, the terror group responsible for the 2019 Pulwama attack, runs like a business enterprise in Pakistan. Its banners seek donations in the name of slain terrorists. Despite repeated warnings, Pakistan has miserably failed in putting curbs on these activities and hence it helplessly embarrasses itself in every plenary of the FATF. These terrorist organizations, Laskar Toba, HMNH, uh, uh, JM, JM, Akani Network, are Pakistan military and ISI, they, they treat it as assets. So how can you destroy that asset, your assets? You cannot. Those are your assets. So in Pakistan calculation, the, these are terrorist organizations are their asset. So it, I can guarantee you, Pakistan will never, never touch the terrorist or terrorist organization. Because Pakistan uses them as a weapon against India. In 2019, 
Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan had publicly confessed that there are about 30 to 40,000 terrorists currently operating in the country. In order to get out of the grey list, Pakistan needs to take credible and irreversible action against these dreaded terrorists. Pakistan was placed on the grey list by the FATF in June 2018 and was given a plan of action to complete it by October 2019. Since then, the country continues to be in that list due to its failure to comply with the FATF mandates. FATF's next plenary is scheduled to be held in February next year.